Hello, here we are again with EmergencySurvivalGenerator.com and we're reviewing the GoGen Emergency Survival Generator. Specifically today we're going to cover how it can charge a cell phone and an MP3 player and the differences between using the GoGen and the other handheld crank generators or alternative energy devices that are out there when you run out of uh, fuel or your home power to run your needs. So first of all, if you've never seen the GoGen before, it's very durable, it's super solid, has a rubber base on the bottom of it, keep it out of the water, and there's basically three ways to get power out of the GoGen. One, there's a little crank director here, you just crank it. Now, I'm doing it backwards, but it's really easy. And when you crank it, it's going to make energy 12 volts plus and put in the large internal battery. That's a 7.5 amp 12 volt battery that's inside of this. Okay? So it's got a lot of energy stored up inside of it. The other way is the solar panel that comes with it. And you just hook the solar panel up to the back of the machine, which in our other videos you can check out. But you just hook it up real quick and easy, and it goes into the uh, quick disconnects, red black so it's easy to use. On the top is a monitor that tells you when you're actually making power so that you can see it. As you see right here I'll kind of turn it over but just turn it. It's making power. There it is. Hope you can see that. Really easy to do. As you see I wasn't turning it very fast and most of these generators you have to turn it real fast. Maybe two times a second. One, two. This is one time per second. Really easy to use. The other way is that there's the built-in batteries. You just turn the switch, and it shows you the internal battery reading. Of what, right now it's at 12.4 volts, so it can power any kind of 12 volt or under, which most of the things like these cell phones are at 3 to 5 volts. So it can power a lot of stuff. So let's see it in action. It also comes with, as you, uh, you might have noticed before, it has a little lighter here, because it makes enough power that if you just put this in and turn it on and give it some cranks, it will light this up. So go to our electric fire starter to see that. We're going to put the inverter in here. And right now, first of all, we're going to crank it. You can see I'm barely turning it. You make enough power to make light. So you can just sit here and make as much light as you want. Also, it's still cranking up the internal system, making light and charging the battery at the same time. Um, but if you turn the switch on, it's now on. This all comes with it. This is a very durable flex light. Uh, as you see with a lot of light on it and uh, it can go right to a position that you want so it's really handy to use when you're like in a tent or in a car or something like that and you're using this. Now the inverter which also comes with it has a standard three plug or a plug and it has a USB port and it's powerful enough to be able to charge up these other systems. So we're going to start with the MP3 player and you're all familiar with these everybody's got one and they plug into the USB so we're just going to go ahead and as you see, it's, it's dark. Nothing's going on there. And we plug it in to the system, and it starts to light up. And it's charging. So, again, you don't have to hand crank or, you know, sit there endlessly. You, you just plug in and go. So this is really convenient if you want a mobile power station that can keep itself charged up and, and charge all your other devices with it. So as you see, it's charging. Also... We can uh, put like the speakers in. A lot of these systems here, like this, work a lot better with a speaker system. That one doesn't have one, but if you hook it into your uh, cell phone, you're going to get a lot of music, a lot of power out of it. So, again, you know, you just plug in this thing, and uh, as you see, it turns right on. So it's charging. You get to walk away. How can you beat that? You don't have to sit there and crank the thing and get, you know, crank for five minutes and get a couple of minutes or whatever of, of power out of it. Uh, this You just use it like you would at your home. You plug stuff into it and walk away. Um, now let's look at the, the uh, cell phone. Put the cell phone here. And this is your LG Optima. It's your, you know, just kind of thing everybody has right now. And these come standard. Generally you can use this plug-in, which would plug in here. Or it has, again, the USB port. So we're just going to plug it in. And uh, once it plugs in here, you see that it immediately lights up and starts to charge it. Now while it's doing this, you can see on the top of the Gojin indicating the voltage. You always know you've got enough power to run this. 
This is an amazing machine. Uh, it can hook, it can charge up the MP3 players, the cell phone chargers. You can hook it to external batteries. There's many uses. So if you're interested and you want to know what it can do and compare it to the other chargers out there, go to emergencysurvivalgenerator.com. Look for the GoGen Emergency Survival Generator. Thank you.